Are you a Christian brother? Are you a non-Muslim? I'm a non-Muslim. Okay, what's your name and your profession brother? Okay, my name is Benson Sunday. I should have also be a Muslim today, if not for this question that is not answered. In a Christian, I discovered that a friend bought me a Quran. In all Muslims, Clicking. So, Quran says Muslim will be the first not to go to paradise. This person made this statement to Zakir Naik, and this is what Dr. Zakir Naik have to say. Let's check it out. Okay, what's your name and your profession, brother? Okay, my name is Benson Sunday, and I'm a software engineer. Okay, my question goes thus. Um, I, I'd like to give you a little background of my question, if you like, which is that um, I should have also be a Muslim today if not for this question that is not answered. And what is the question? The question sorry, sorry. is... Can you repeat again, brother? Okay. Can you say a bit loudly and slowly? In the year 2008, probably I might have been a Muslim. In the year 2008, you might have been a Muslim. Because, but because of this question that I could not get an answer for, okay. and maybe some other one, but this was a very crucial one for me. But now if you get the answer, you'll become a Muslim, inshallah. Just wait. Uh, if you could answer it, no problem. And the question goes like this. What is the question, brother? The question is that being a, being a Christian, I discovered to go to paradise is just to believe in Jesus Christ and follow him and you get to paradise. Now, but after a friend bought me a Quran in 2007, 2008, okay. and we start reading, I begin to, I found that in some references that all Muslims will first of us go to hellfire and be born in hellfire ah. before sorry can you repeat all muslims will ah. all muslims can you keep quiet brothers and sisters they are reference okay. to these things i am not saying can it. you be this quiet from the please? quran and from their deeds Wait, uh, i cannot hear you okay so i repeat that after studying it in that 2007 2008 i find out some Quranic references hmm. and um, Adits also explain it. Some Adits, even Soyi Hadiths, which are strong Adits, um, that no, all Muslims will taste hell. They will pass through hell before they get to paradise. And I, being a Christian, I look at it that how can I, okay, how can I have an offer that says go to paradise directly without FIR? And one say, you have to go through fire, with, uh, and after that, you go to paradise. Even some, some uh, at this even says that the prophet... I heard your question. I got your question. Okay. Is that your question? Uh, just a, a last one to that question. Okay. That some, some at this even shows that the prophet himself says in some places that even him, when, he, when everybody is born in the um, fire of hell, it remains the mark of worship, and... Allah will shovel some people out of it. And even him is not sure if he will be among those who will be shoveled out. Uh -uh. And same, same water will pour on it. So, I heard your question. I heard your question and understood very clearly. Okay. Finish, you have too long. You want to give a speech here? No, no, no. I so, understood your question 100%. So, I should, I should, I yes, should. Yes, I want to answer it now. Okay, thank you, sir. The brother said that, it, and I'll repeat your question in short. Thank you. The brother said in 200, 2008, he would have become a Muslim. Mm -hmm. He was going to become Muslim, but he read the Quran. And the Quran says, all the Muslims will first go to hell. After hell, no, no. then they will go Paradise. to heaven. Oh. And even the Prophet himself will first go to hell. Oof. Brother, this is the Quran. Where does it say this? You are telling all nonsense. Okay, can I, I, I quote the, the, the reference? Listen, listen, listen. I have the reference, sir. Okay, give the reference. Okay, first of all, you no, have no, it in give Quran. The reference. Dead. Give yes. the reference where it says all Muslims will go to hell first. Where, where does it say? Okay. I have you, read the Quran 100 times, more than 100 times. You may not hear it in that same word, but I'll quote it. Quran chapter 19. Give me the reference. 19. Give me Surah the reference. To, Surah to Maryam. Sorry, Surah Maryam, chapter number 19. Yes. Verse number 68 to 72. I think emphasis wait, wait, is wait, 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 in wait. 71. Chapter 19. Yes. Surah Maryam. Verse number? Yes. Maryam. Surah to Maryam. Ayah 68 to 72. And there's another reference also, but we'll start with that. Where does it say? Okay, 
Where does it say all Muslims will be put to hell? 71. If you can read it, and I can read from here, or anybody can bring an English Quran, we can read it. 68 to 71. If you have, if anybody have, I have that Quran on my phone, but if you want them to bring a physical Quran with English, I can come no, and No, I'm read English, it. English, Arabic, I've got both Arabic and English, both. Yes, that's so what I'm saying. there's a mistake, 71. I can check up in Arabic. Where does 71 say Muslim will go to hell? Uh, where okay. Does... okay, can you read it or I should read it from here? So that okay. we can... No, where, where's the word Muslim mentioned here for show me? Which I have mentioned Muslim. It is talking about somebody else. It's talking about the evil one who will go to hell first. Hmm? Where does it say Muslims? Okay, let me read. If, if that's not convincing, no, let me read. Tell me which verse says Muslim. Yes, let me verse, read it. Let me read it out. Okay, let me yes. verse number. Okay, good. Let me, let me read it out. Verse number which? Uh, let, me, let me check. And which read verse it. are you reading? I want to know. 71, 72. You read it for us. Let's know. So, In 71, 72, 70, the word Muslim doesn't exist. Okay, okay read. Now, uh, uh, then, let me read from 6. That's why I quote. My reference is from 68. Okay, 68 also doesn't quote. Oh, yeah, let 68 me read. 68 doesn't say Muslim anywhere. Let me read. Let me read. Even I can read from anywhere, any, any place. Okay, from 66. Okay. And man says, 66 now. Okay. Can it be that when I am dead, I will be brought alive? Does man not remember? That when created him, earlier when he was nothing, Correct. but your Lord, we will surely aid them and the devil. And the, and the devil. Repeat devil, devil. Yes. yes devil. Yes. Paul is talking about devils now. And the devil. Yes. Then we will surely bring them around hell on their knees. Correct. Then out of every set, we will surely snatch those most defense to, to the all merciful. No, no, read correctly. You are reading half. Read correctly again that verse. This is, this is from my own. Then read 68, the, read 68 again. No, okay, I'm reading 69 now. I've read 68 before. 68 says, So thy says, Lord. Uh, but, okay, sorry, sorry. But your Lord will, will surely aid them and the devil. Devil, yes. Yes. Then we will surely bring them around hell on their knees. Okay. And Next. I continue. 69. Then out of every set, we will surely snatch those most defiant to the all merciful. Correct. All those who are against Allah. Yes. So it's not talking about Muslims. Uh, we are it's still talking reading. about those who are against Allah. We have not finished, sir. We have not finished, no, sir. read the full verse correctly. Uh. Read 69. Then can we certainly uh, drag out from every sect all those who were versed in obstinate rebellion against Allah, most gracious. Yes, I said so this verse is talking about those who are Allah, at, most gracious, I didn't not stop about at Muslims. No, let me continue. Let me read the Quran first but before what? you give an explanation. Let me read the so Quran. So do you understand talking about those who are against Allah? Sheikh Zaknaik, let me read the Quran, Al-Quran. This is the Al-Quran. Let me read Al -Quran. it com completely yes. first yes. before you give explanation. So, 70. 70 says, then... We surely know better of those who are most deserving to roast in it. To, okay. But every single one of that, you is born to approach it. This has been a decree, unavoidable decree of your Lord. The, the, then we will deliver those who were mindful of God and live unjust in the, on their nails. So if you, if you can read that even in your own English. I'm reading. It will, it will I'm reading in Arabic also no. and English also. Uh, no one does it say Muslim. Okay. It's talking about the devil and those who are followers of the devil who are enemies of Islam. In, Correct. That's why I said. Where does it say Muslim? Read in the it. full Arabic text, there is no Muslim. Okay. In Number the English text, there is no Muslim. Okay. Why are you I trying mean, to fool the people? No, but no, sir. The Adis explain it better. We said if you did not get it, I can give another Quran. I'm that's... not getting it. I can understand even in your language. Nowhere is the word Muslim mentioned. Even in your English language, it's talking about the devil and those who are obstinate against the most gracious Allah. Okay. So Allah will bring them and put them in hell. What is now, the problem? But why did he say that? Please don't waste people's time. You no, read, sir. you took so much time. I gave you time. You, no, you can, are quoting you can the Quran. It. You can read it from your translation. Even, even what you read, the word Muslim is not there. You, you, you don't have to have Muslim. He's saying all of sects. Course it should. He's saying all sects of all the devil. People. He's talking all about sects of all the human devil. Being and also the Hadith. Okay, let me read the Hadith so that it can be clearer. And another Quranic verse that make it clear. Another Quranic verse. Quran chapter 3, verse 185. Quran chapter 3, verse 185. Also the, make it I clear. know 3, 185 says, 
Allah will not accept any religion except Islam. All those who follow any other religion, they shall be put into hell. Now, from here, I, I want to read it. I want to just read it. I'm telling you. And, and, and I'll just, we'll just read the Hadith to, to, to confirm it. It just doesn't say Muslims. It is talking about those who are against Allah. Anyone who desires a religion other than Allah, it will never be acceptable of him. Kullu nafsin zaykatul maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. I, I'm reading here. Then we read brother, the Hadith. Now, brother, you are close to accepting Islam. I think it's a story. It's a story. It's a story because they wanted to misguide the people. Brother, what's your name? Brother, what's your name? My name is Benson. Benson? Yes. Benson? Yes. Brother Benson, I doubt whether you wanted to accept Islam in 2008. I want to. My Very best good. Friend, let, let, me, let me give you a, a narration about it. My best friend, who is a Muslim, I'm a Christian, we share everything in common. He's the one that we discovered that the only thing we didn't share in but common. But now, do you know you made a mystery? Your friend may not be an expert in the Quran, correct? My, my friend is a Christian today. 2012, he has become a Christian. And he's oh, an you, Afar. Your friend, friend. Your friend, according to that, the reason your friend that told you doesn't know the Quran. And you misguided him. No. So you <laughs> misguided him. Instead of him taking you to Islam, you took him from the right path to the wrong path. I told you first, your friend doesn't know the Quran. You misguided him. And now you're trying to misguide us also. Mm. Correct? No, sir. So if you told your friend, I want to become Muslim and show you the Quran. No, Quran says you'll go to hell. No, become a Christian. He became a Christian because he doesn't know the Quran. Brother, I'm talking to you, you're looking inside. Okay, I want to just read it. I'm That's talking right. to you, you're looking inside. Okay, no, what I'm listening this? to you, sir. I, brother, you quoted two verses. Both the verses don't talk about Muslims in hell. Why are you wasting your time? Do, do you want to... You have to agree you made a mistake. Say sorry and let's... Let us give a chance to her, please. Okay, uh, sir. Do if you, you make a mistake, say sorry at least. No, say at least sorry. No. Say sorry I made a mistake. No, I didn't make any mistake. Okay, then, then you don't accept your mistake. Then you're a liar according to me. Okay, thank you. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, my God, this is a lot. This is a whole lot. The man read the reference. They can give reference in which it might not be what they directly says in the holy book. The same way sometimes Bible always have references to a particular chapter but if you read the major verse you see that the verse is just trying to explain more. I know references means you explain more or you give, you know, the true meaning of it. So, <sighs> the only place that the man got it all wrong and I was like, oof, you should have just calm down because Dr. Zaki Naik is somebody that you need to show proof to as a Muslim, not even Dr. Zaki Naik, Muslim Muslims, if you want to tell them about their religion, give them proof from their Quran and it must be solid proof that you can stand on that this is it. So when he was reading the Surah Maryam, he didn't say directly that they will go to, mm. he didn't say it directly, he only said that they will be Burnish, there will be this, the but it didn't specify the set of people that the Quran was talking about. So I, I think the man, the Christian man, should have read it from the beginning, the story, and to understand why that particular verse 68 to I think he says 72, why he is talking about such people and why he's saying that those people will be punished, they will, this will happen to them and that. No, it's just like sometimes to as a Christian when you read your Bible, you can't just pick a verse and you just stumble on the verse and say, ah, this verse is referring to this. No, you have to read from the beginning of the story to know who the verse was trying to talk about and why it can also have effect on people generally if you don't take note of this important information. So, assuming this Christian man gave us word for word of the verse that said Muslims will go to, Muslims will go to, I don't want to say that word, then Zaki Naik would have said, oh, this, this, this. At first, I was even thinking maybe the man was right, the Christian man was right, because the way Zaki Naik was like, oh, he's not there, he's not there, and I was expecting him to read. One thing I observe about Dr. Zaki Naik is that 
Most of the time, when he's trying to give references to the Bible, he's trying to quote some verses in the Bible, and he wants to explain something about the Christianity. He reads it, or he, he, he has, you know, why is it that he has a lot of memories? Like, he has recited a lot of verses from Bible. But Quran, I hardly see him recite. Well, maybe, maybe, most of the, maybe because of most of the conversation, I, I, I get to watch. Maybe that's why. But I listen see him quote some Quran verses. He, he, did, he does less of that and more of Bible you know, verses. He quotes more of Bible verses in his teaching than Quran verses. So when he could not explain that particular aspect, I was thinking maybe, ah, oh, is the Christian man correct? Later when the Christian man was reading it, I was like, that does not mean he's referring to Muslim. What is this man saying? What is this man saying? And his friend that later converted to Christianity, he said he was once an Alpha, but he converted to Christianity. It might not be that verse alone made him make that decision. Maybe he has come across some other things, or some other things happened later on and gave him the conviction that, oh, he needs to convert to Christianity. I could see the, you know, pain or the disappointment in Dr. Zaki Naik the fact that an Afa converted to Islam. Like, Afa is a person that is supposed to know the word of the Quran very well. Afa is somebody that knows the Quran, you know. But the part I was not expecting Dr. Zaki like, when Dr. Zaki was like, the man should apologize. It was not necessary to me. It was not necessary. Maybe the man misquoted what was written in the Quran and he's just trying to, you know, get clarification. And you've clarified the misunderstanding. But you telling him to apologize was, to me, to me, to me, or oh, my own opinion was not really necessary. But I just felt the disappointment and everything. But the Christian man should have done more research before coming to, you know, give this kind of discussion. That is my own opinion. But regardless of that, woof, I learned a lot from this particular video because I was really, really shocked by what the Christian man said, what he discovered, and my God. Woof, that was really surprising, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.